What's up, everybody? It's Jim with Reverb.com. We are at the Red Panda booth here at NAMM 2016, and I'm here with legendary experimental guitarist and producer and Antarctic diver. There you go. It's and true. this is Henry Kaiser, hey. everybody. Uh, thanks for taking the time, man. Sure. Um, so you're uh, you're here at NAMM, obviously, at the Red Panda booth. So why don't we talk through some of these pedals? I mean, obviously, a lot of these have some pretty wacky sounds. Uh, well, my favorite Red Panda pedal is the one called the Particle, yeah. which some people call a granular delay. And so it takes the sounds you're playing and breaks it up in little pieces and turns them around forwards and backwards and can repeat them, can do all kinds of crazy things with them. And I like it because it's like playing with somebody else. You know, when you're in the middle of your solo, but it's like you're doing a duet with somebody else who's totally unpredictable. So it's kind of fun for that. It's just fun. You know, I know how it's going to cut things up, just like when you tap with two two fingers on a guitar, you know you know, how you're going to cut the string up. Yeah. So cutting up the sound, it's no different than playing two and tapping. It's just a different technique to get sounds. Right. So I'm used to that pedal, and it's a terrific tool for doing sounds and shapes that you couldn't do without it. One of the things that you're known for is like creating these sounds. And I, I just wonder where do those sounds come from? Are they coming from? I'll tell you, I'll tell you where they came from. They came from the first movie that I saw when I was a little kid, which was a Japanese movie directed by Inoshiro Hondo called The Mysterians, where there was a big spaceship battle and a big robot monster bird fighting and blowing up buildings. That's where all those sounds came from, and I just reached back to then to little four-year-old me, five-year-old me, and I channel those sounds. Yeah. And, and something like these pedals help me do that. I kind of need to have the particle on my board in yeah. the studio or live, yeah. yeah. bits of the sound and making them both backwards and forwards, delaying them. And if I stop playing, if I stop playing, it repeats what I was doing. Kidding about like that kind of uh, monster, uh, kind of Japanese monster sh movie. Yeah, sort of sound. different from American science fiction movies. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yes. Um, and you're using reverb, right? Yeah, always looking for something that I shouldn't spend money, should not spend money on, and occasionally do, and try hard not to. But I, I just bought a an old Alesis ring modulator on there just yesterday. Nice. So Yeah, no, that's, that site's just sort of kind of. I mean, it's a website, as you say. And it just seems to have kind of very more utility has crept in over the time. My favorite thing on Reverb.com is what do you call the, the, the collection things? Handpick collection. The what? The handpick collection. The handpick collection of weird stuff. We're glad you like it. Um, Henry, thanks yeah. so much for hanging out. Thank you. Cool. Take care. Bye, folks.